A customer complains that he doesn't have hot water for long periods of times in his shower valve. What we want to do, we want to actually verify the source. If he doesn't have hot water for long periods of time at his, at his galley faucet, at his vanity faucet, and in a shower, one of the things we'd want to look at is his hot water heater bypass valves. All them valves in normal operation, remember, must be parallel to the floor. If he has hot water at the faucets in the galley and at the vanity, but not at the shower head, we want to look at this shower head. And what a common scenario would be, well I have the pump on now and we got plenty of water, we got plenty of water while we're on cold. As we cycle over, as we cycle over to the hot water side, look, we're losing pressure. One of the things that I want to look at now is that cartridge inside here. And I'm going to, I'm just going to go through the procedure for changing this cartridge inside this, this mowing, mowing faucet. First thing I want to do, I want to shut off the water source. I want to unplug my city water inlet and I want to shut my pump off. So I, I went up and I shut the pump off at the galley. Now I want to bleed down the system. I'm going to turn it on and I'm just going to let the water out of the lines and bleed it down. If you don't do this, I can assure you, you'll get a bath. Okay, we have the Allen wrench. First thing I want to do, I want to take off this, this handle. Just take the Allen wrench and take the handle off. Okay, and it's a good it's a good idea to always lay the parts down in the order that you took them off. The next thing I want to do, I want to take a number two Phillips screwdriver, and there's a center Phillips screw in there I'm going to take out. That this black piece slides off. We're going to slide this next next plastic spacer out with all of our splines on it, set it down the proper order. Next our cap slides off. Now if we could come around and we can actually see this, inside here is a clip. This clip is what holds, this clip is what holds that cartridge in there. Once I take this clip out, this cartridge is ready to pull out. I'm just going to take some pliers and very easily pull that cartridge out just like so. Look what's going on there. We got some we got some debris stuck in our cartridge. We're going to take our new cartridge right here. We're going to put a new cartridge in it. Now there's a there's a top and a bottom to this cartridge. There's actually a line, a space line on this cartridge. If we can see it, it's a space line right there. And then on the bottom, it's got a stamping, an 07. That was the year it was manufactured. This line goes to the bottom. We want to slide that in there, just like so. There's a hot and a cold. That's going to slide right back in place. Now, the reason that line has to go to the bottom, if we put that line towards the top, the customer's cold and water is going to be reversed. His cold lines and hot water lines are going to be reversed. Once we get that in, I'm going to put push my my pin down in place. Once that's down in place, I just start just start assembling the pieces in the correct order. Next, I'm going to put on. I'm going to put this spacer back on. The spacer slides in. and our cap slides in. Now, this has, a, this has a side to it. If we can see it over here, we got, we got the screw, and then this is actually offset to the front. If we can see it, it's offset to the, to the spacer. This is going to go on the left-hand side. If we can see it over, over there, it's on the left-hand side. If we would put this on the other side, our handle is going to be upside down. So this has to be on the left-hand side, or when you're facing to the left-hand side. Now I just take my screw, put my screw back on it, tighten everything back down nice and tight, put my handle on it,
Now I got it all secure. Next step would be to turn the pump on or hook it. Turn it on. We're going to cycle around to the hot water side. We got plenty of pressure now. Job is successfully completed. Now, if the customer would actually think that when he, he's got hot water when it's over on the cold side and it goes to cold when he's over on the hot water side, we don't have to get in there and take out shower panels to actually remove the hot and the cold water lines. What we want to look at is that cartridge. And remember I told you that this has a little line. If we can see it there, we'll get the cartridge and you'll see it, but it's going to have a little line, a little line all the way across that bar. That always goes to the bottom. What's happened if we pull that out, that line would be to the top.